okay find the value of each of the following limit so here when you calculate this kind of question you must make sure that your above is not zero and below is not zero when you substitute usually uh, if you can factorize usually when you get zero that means that something can be removed from your equation so you have to either factorize or conjugate do conjugate so that you can remove the common uh, the same element of that part lah. so you can see 2.1 number 2 and 3 something like this so that you can be like more understanding lah about this kind of question so here limit x approaching 0 so x square minus 6x plus 9 so usually question like this you even you factor you cannot cancel out any, anything and see if you substitute x is equal to 0 so 0 square minus 6 0 plus 9 so you get 9 it is not 0 so this one is 9 so b limit x approaching 2 so here square root a uh, cube root so x4 minus 2x2 two so you see this one is 2 so this one is x to the power of 4 or when you substitute 2 to the power of 4 and thus this one 2 times x square is equal to 2 to the power of 3 so you won't, you won't get 0 right and you can even cancel out because there's not a fraction here so here you get um, set 3 you substitute you get 2 power of 4 minus 2 times 2 power of 2 so here you get 16 minus 8. So you get 8. Sorry, I forget. Which is equal to 2. Okay, so C, you see here limit x approaching 9. 9 minus x divided by x square minus 81. So you see here, if you substitute 9 directly inside the equation, 9 minus 9 is 0, so you get 0 at the above. And even if you substitute below, 9 square minus 81 is equal to 0. So this cannot be done. But you see here, you can factorize. So you see here, you can factorize this one. So x square minus 81 is equal to x square minus 9 square, which is equal to x minus 9, x plus 9. Right, a square minus b square is equal to, now you have square minus square is equal to a plus b, a minus b. So, which is equal to 9 minus x. So, this one would be x minus 9, x plus 9. Right. So, you see here, this one is 9 minus x, this one is x minus 9. So, it's actually the same element, but what you have to do is that you have to change the you have to change uh, x and 9 and x. So how to do that? Usually we add negative in front when we change place. So when we have ch when we change place in negative. So this one is x and this one would be minus 9. So you see here negative times x is negative x. Negative times negative 9 is 9. So now you see here this one is equal to this one. So x minus 9, x plus 9. So you can cut this one, you can cut this one. So here you are left with negative 1 above. So here limit x approaching 9. So negative 1 divided by x plus 9. So now you see when you substitute, you won't get 0 above or 0 below anymore. So you can substitute. So this is 9 plus 9. You get negative 1 divided by 18, which is negative 1 over 18. So d limit x approaching 2, x square minus x minus 2 x divided x minus 2 you see here when you substitute you will get 0 below so you see what you can do is that you can factorize this so x square minus x minus 2 this one is 2 times 1 negative means i mean if you don't you can use calculator or if you don't want to use calculator you can see from my chapter 4 next uh, chapter 1 maths form 4 on how to calculate this manually 
So this one negative 2. And you see negative means one of this is negative. And this one is negative 1. So we know that negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So you see here, so you have x minus 2, x plus 1 is equal to 0. Right? So this one is how you factorize. So here you don't have to go up until 0, just until this. So you know that limit x approaching 2, x minus 2, x plus 1 divided by x minus 2. So you see here you can cancel out these two. So you here you get limit x approaching 2. So this one is 1. So divided by 1, you don't have to write. So this one is x plus 1. So now you can substitute. When you substitute, you don't put the limit anymore. So this one is 2 plus 1, you get 3. Okay, A, limit x supporting 1, so x3 minus x divided by x minus 1. You see here, this one will obviously be 0, so you have to do something about this. You try to factorize this one. So x square minus x is equal to, you can take out x. So you get x square minus 1, right? x divided by x is 1. So you see here, this one is equal to x square minus 1 square, where it can be in x minus 1, x plus 1. This is a square minus b square term, which you get a minus b, a plus b. So this one is equal to this one. So limit x approaching 1 is equal to x x minus 1, x plus 1, divided by x minus 1. So you can cut out x minus 1. So you are left with x times x plus 1. So when you substitute, you won't get 0. And you can even uh, yeah, and you can even cut the common factor. So here, x is 1. So 1, 1 plus 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Okay. And then F, limit x approaching 5. So x square minus 7x plus 10. This one is x square minus 25. So you see here, this one when you substitute 5 square minus 25 is equal to 0. So you see here, you can, you try to factorize what you can factorize. So you see here, below here you can factorize. And up here you can also factorize. So you see here, x square minus 7x plus 10. So why you factorize? Because you want to find what is the common factor between these two so that you can cut up before you can substitute. So here you see a negative 7. You see this one is 10 is 5 times 2. This one is positive means this one is both the same. Uh, the same what we say positive or negative. Lah. You can really recall. Eh? So negative 7. So you see here, this one is negative. So this one is obviously negative 5 and negative 2. Because negative 5 plus negative 2 is negative 7. So you get x minus 5. And this one is x minus 2. Right. So the below one, you see, you have x square minus 25. Which is equal to x square minus 5 square. So you get x minus 5, x plus 5. See, after you factorize, you substitute back. So, okay, this one would be x minus 5, x minus 2, divided by x minus 5, x plus 5. So, you can eliminate these two. So, you see here, okay, so, so this one would be 5, x minus 2, x plus 5. So, here you see, when you substitute, you won't get 0 anymore. Since you have eliminated the common factor, so you can substitute. So this one is 5. So 5 minus 2 divided by 5 plus 5. Then you get 3 over 10. 